MKO Electric. Today we are looking at a furnace that is gas powered. We are looking at the electrical wiring of it. We're mainly going to be talking about just identifying the major components. Um, I'll also show you the wiring diagram real quick. If you don't have this on your Calvinator furnace, you can take, you can pause this and this will greatly help you. Let's begin. So we got our power coming in from our switch. Once it comes inside, goes to this wire nut right here. One of these 120s go to the condensation pump. The other 120 is seriesed with this switch right here and all this switch is is a safety for this cover being off. I press it on and off, on and off. The little LED indicator comes on and off as you can see back there. these wires right here the four wire ones your thermostat these other two one goes you see you got you got a common wire right here but these two one goes to your condensing unit outside and one goes to your uh, your condensation pump all right identifying the major components of this thing You can see it right there is your igniter there's your gas valves but there's your igniter that starts it up right there is your flame sensor you got to keep that thing clean I've had to ask a buddy of mine who owns an HVAC company a few times on how to troubleshoot and repair this thing and that was one of the components that went faulty one time how you can tell if the component is going faulty or not is there's two little LEDs right there on this door right here you got a troubleshooting chart and it tells you, depending on how many flashes there are, what component is failing. So, back to this. So we've identified the igniter, flame sensor, moving on down. Right there, that's your limit switch. Buddy Robert helped me with that same guy um, we took off those two screws and all this is is just a series switch you can pick up the replacement part at any HVAC hardware supplier right here at your pressure switch this is your gas valve relay back there right there that is a transformer it is taking 120 and changing it over to 24 volt a lot of this a lot of these little switches we're talking about right now that's what they're controlled off of is 24 volt your wiring diagram will explain all that this obviously is your control board right here. Fortunately, I haven't had any problems with the control board going bad. Uh, that would be a mess right there. All right here's your vent motor. Down below, that's your blower motor. And looking at everything, I believe 
have touched all the major electrical components with inside of this thing. Um, the easiest way to do it is, you know, if you got a little bit different system than this, what I suggest is following your wire diagram. It'll tell you the colors of wiring go into the different switch or relay that you're trying to, you know, fix. It's really helpful. And if you're unsure at all about fixing this thing, I suggest you call a licensed HVAC technician. A lot of these parts are hard to get without having an account at a distributor of HVAC parts. Although you may be able to find them online, but when you go to replace it, you got to make sure you're replacing it with the exact same part you're taking out. It's just like working on a car. You can't put a uh, Ford starter in a Honda, Honda, Honda car. So there you have it. This is Mike MKO. Thanks for watching.